This is an invisible ring, and I'm in the food pantry of my house right now. It's been a big long winter break so far, and I've been trying to enjoy it best I could. But it still didn't feel right. It took me a long time to figure it out, but now I know it's because of solitary confinement. I've tried to live it up as best I could these past nine months, but it's still hard. We can only do as much stuff as we can for fun for so long while we're trapped inside our houses. So as we look forward to 2021 and hope that this year is better, this next year is better than this year, I'm going to try out yet another survival tip of coronavirus, a cooking project. I've got a recipe right here that'll be perfect for New Year's. I know that I've had like five cooking videos all this month. It's getting pretty repetitive, as if I have my own cooking show or something like that. But, coronavirus is my excuse. When you're locked inside the house, you gotta mix things up a little or you're gonna go cuckoo and suddenly get depressive issues. So anyway, so far I've cooked breakfast cookies on day two, s'more wafers on day seven, mashed potato latkes on day 10, a sweet Chex mix on day 12, and a mallow mint cocoa, I believe that was day 22. My sixth recipe, however, unlike these five, isn't my own recipe creation. I got this from my first grade teacher from long ago. This recipe is very special to me because it is the secret to my favorite food in the world. It's also the secret of getting the most out of your Thanksgiving and Christmas feast leftovers. It is called Gobble Good Turkey Casserole. Alright, let me straighten this camera up so it won't fall down. There. Alright. The first ingredient is one can cream of chicken soup. Good thing I'm in the pantry. That way I can grab all of my ingredients right here. Alright, let's see. Where's the chicken soup? Fresh cut green beans, tomato sauce. My mama did say that we have plenty of this, these ingredients on the phone, right? Right, I think she did. Tuna, chicken, potatoes, vegetables. Not that drawer. I'll try this drawer. Soup. Yeah, definitely the soup. Dinito! Cream of chicken soup. Alright, I got that down. Now, the second ingredient is one can cream of celery soup. Cream of chicken, cream of tomato, cream of potato. Ah, cream of celery. Here it is. One package onion soup mix. Ah, great. Where does mom keep the onion soup? I can't even remember. This isn't soup. This is turkey gravy. Onion soup and dip mix. Well, that was easy. Just one package of this. That's all we have left. Good thing we have some left. Alright, just put the turkey gravy back and look at the ingredients again. One package... Oh wait, I already read that. One cup rice. I wonder where we keep the rice. Um, the other ingredients are one and a half cup milk and three cups left over turkey. Oh yeah, it says right here, one cup green beans with juice. I'll take that as one can of green beans. Let's see. Beans, beans, refried beans. Oh no! We're out of green beans! Oh wait a second. We've got frozen green beans in the freezer. Oh wait, what am I saying? We're not out of green beans. I found a can right here. I was just looking in the wrong drawer. How silly of me. Whoops! 
Well, I don't know how all the video critics are going to think of all these bloopers here, but I don't want to delete this. Let's just hope they all laugh. So, I've got the soups and the green beans and the soup mix, and that's all the ingredients that I can get out of this pantry. The rest of them I'll have to get out of the fridge or somewhere else. Alright, let's see if I've got all the ingredients now. I've got the cream of chicken, the cream of celery, the green beans right here. Let's see, one pack onion soup mix, one cup of rice, three cups leftover turkey, a topping, a cup of extra sharp cheddar, oh yeah, one and a half cups of milk, that's what I forgot. I'll add it later. Milk is a perishable ingredient. And the directions also say... Oh, I think I forgot something. I was right. Combine all ingredients in a large casserole dish. They cover 45 minutes at 350 degrees. I've got the casserole dish. I just hope it's big enough, but got to preheat the oven for 350 degrees. You wouldn't believe it, but our oven isn't even working right. I've got to crank it up to, say, 400, was it? Yeah, 400, because the oven doesn't heat up hot enough. Now that the oven's preheating at a real 350 degrees, time to add all the ingredients and stir it up. These things are impossible to open. Whoops. Flew right off just like a catapulted flying monkey. Chefs. Always have your cooking utensils with you when you cook stuff. Otherwise, you'll have to keep getting up to go get them. Does anybody know where cream of chicken soup even comes from? How does one cream a chicken? Just like the apples to apples card about chickens. From hatched rotisserie in 56 days. S straight from the farm into the incubator. Run, chicken, run! There we go. I'll add the green beans. I still don't know if this casserole dish is big enough. But I will get my answer. If this casserole... Whoops! If this casserole just decides to overflow, always think about what you're doing so you don't drop stuff like I do. There we go. I'll just set this stuff aside. Then I'll crank this thing open. Cream of celery. I use a knife because it works like a lever. There's a lot of science involved in physics class. First class lever, fulcrum in the middle, input and output, stuff like that. My video camera literally turned off on me, which is such a shame because I made so many goofy mistakes in the cooking and now none of you will be able to see them. But you will see that I have added all my ingredients except the milk, and I'm going to see if I can combine it into the large casserole dish like I've been told. So for any of you who wants to know what happened while I was cooking, was that I was cranking the can of green beans and then it fell onto the casserole.
No doubt that this stuff will have to be sterilized in the oven, but that won't be a problem. The oven is preheating. I still need to add the milk. And I've made a big mess of things. I don't know how much of it got cut off from camera. I didn't stop the camera. The camera stopped itself. Maybe it was the auto turn off feature. Curse these technical difficulties. For any of you who's able to make this recipe at home, I'm sure that it'll be a recipe that all of you will just gobble up in an instant. Alright, the turkey's starting to look good now. The soup cream, the soup mix, the green beans, the turkey, the rice. It's all looking good now. All that's left is the milk. And I don't know if the pot is room for that. Because the pot is getting really full here. My video camera literally turned off on me, which is such a shame. Because I made so many goofy mistakes in the cooking. And now none of you will be able to see them. But you will see that I have added all my ingredients except the milk. And I'm going to see if I can combine it into the large casserole dish. Like I've been told. So for any of you who wants to know what happened while I was cooking, was that I was cranking the can of green beans and then it fell onto the casserole. No doubt that this stuff will have to be sterilized in the oven, but that won't be a problem. The oven is preheating. I still need to add the milk. And I've made a big mess of things. I don't know how much of it got cut off from camera. I didn't stop the camera. The camera stopped itself. Maybe it was the auto turn off feature. Curse these technical difficulties. For any of you who's able to make this recipe at home, I'm sure that it'll be a recipe that all of you will just gobble up in an instant. Alright, the turkey's starting to look good now. The soup cream, the soup mix, the green beans, the turkey, the rice. It's all looking good now. All that's left is the milk. And I don't know if the pot is room for that. Because the pot is getting really full here. So this is the best that I could mix for now. And that's not even all the milk. I still got a tiny bit left, but since it's full to the brim and it looks like I can't anymore. Problem solved. Okay, I'm going to cover this up with aluminum foil now and put it in the oven. Let's see. So, how long do I have to bake it again? 45 minutes. Well, this dinner could take a little while. My mama did say that microwaving it for 15 minutes would, would be just as effective though. But then again, that would have meant that I turned the oven on for nothing. Hmm. I've made up my mind. I'm going to put this cookbook away and put the casserole in the oven for 40 minutes. I actually did that just a few minutes ago. If there's anything I learned from professional chef stuff, it's that chefs do not rush into their cooking. They slow cook if they have to and they slow cook whenever they want to to get the best quality out of their food. Hopefully the gobble good turkey casserole will be worth the wait because I know I'm going to be starving in 40 minutes from now. Well everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you guys uh, can make a really good New Year's meal too or order one from takeout from Chinese.
anyway, I wish you all the best next year in 2021. I'm, I hope that it will be better. I won't need to taste my food 40 minutes from now because I've had it many times before and I love it. Speaking of, I bet many of you still have holiday leftovers. I hope you can make do with them as well. Perhaps you could cook them into your own casseroles or some sort of other special dish. Well, until tomorrow's New Year's celebration, I'm out for now. Peace.